first, let me make it clear that the channel, Ready to Harvest, isn't a heretic channel. This channel simply facilitates us to learn about Christian denominations, sects and sometimes cults. The channel often conducts such interesting survey on various issues. I would highly recommend this channel to you. Agreement and disagreement are your part. Second, my concern is about the question and not the channel. The survey question is excellent as it helps us to think intellectually, critically, philosophically and deeply. The channel asked this question to collect merely opinions from Christians and sometimes even non-Christians are encouraged to enroll. Thus, the channel equips Christians with amazing questions that typical Christians had never thought in their mind. Third, touching straight to the question, it seems an attempt to dismiss necessity of Jesus to be God. It is an escape approach from accepting something that is uncomfortable for the particular questioner. We might have heard many queries such as, what about those who never heard of Jesus, why cannot we simply accept Jesus as a good moral teacher rather than God, why cannot Jesus be one of many ways, and so on. These questions simply try to dismiss the necessity of accepting Jesus as the exclusive choice. The question has been targeted at accepting Jesus as Son of God, Messiah but not as God. The final concern is then eternal life. Other escape approach questions from theological grounds can be like, what if a person has hydrophobia, how can she he get baptized, what if a believer gets his memory lost? Will he lose his salvation, how can a believer in the Pentecostal church speak in tongues if she he has no tongue at all, and so on. The only goal is to dismiss the necessity of a particular theological execution in practical living. The question touches rather one of the most fundamental doctrine important for salvation itself. To be straightforward, eternal life is fully connected with Jesus but it also matters which Jesus. We can find many Jesus today in the market. Do you think you will be saved by believing in Islamic Jesus or Jesus of the Bhavishya Purana? Do you think believing a yogic Jesus opens the gate of salvation to your life? These all are false Jesus and you gain nothing except miserable destruction at the end. Salvation is by grace but through faith and it also matters where your faith is laid on, what you are believing and how. If this isn't a serious case, why would have apostles, early church fathers, reformers and even today Christian leaders are fighting hard against heresy and cult? The question is simply trying to avoid believing Jesus as God. The question is presupposing Jesus as a different being apart from God. From my point of view, the question is committing categorical fallacy. Does the questioner really know what is the meaning of Son of God? The identification of Jesus is incomplete without the Trinity and also the Jewish cultural context. Son of God itself is a bold claim of divinity. If we are supposed to believe Jesus, who isn't even God, for salvation or eternal life then the question is, salvation isn't from God but someone else whom he created or beget? And how much is it appropriate to pray, give glory and reverence to a being who isn't even God? That's an idolatry. If we think God used some other being to offer us salvation then it concludes that God himself cannot redeem and insufficient. However, the confusion regarding Jesus making himself distinct from Father might bring up this question. That's the reason, doctrine of Trinity is vital. If anyone who can just believe everything about Jesus except that he is God is indeed dismissal of the entire Gospel. A person who isn't even God, New Testament is commanding to revere him, follow him, honor him and glorify him? That's theologically idolatry and blasphemy against God. The question is making Jesus a separate being. Now the question is, what and who is Jesus? If he isn't God then what does Son of God mean? If Jesus is a literal Son of God then how can this idea fit into biblical monotheism? This leads to serious problem about identification of Jesus. This leads to erratic interpretation of his deeds. Ultimately there is no way to eternal life. The scripture clearly declares Jesus as God and this should never bother us. If Jesus isn't God, not even a pinch of salvation is possible from him. Otherwise, God could have used prophets. Why so much drama for millennium years? 
If Jesus is a separate being as child of God then this creates serious problem for biblical monotheism. This is problem even for divine counsel theology as it isn't polytheism. Thus, the questioner is expecting to have an eternal life by compromising a serious biblical truth that is essential for salvation to work in effect. Don't just have faith, the object and knowledge of it where our faith attaches also matters. The bottom line is clear, nobody can believe Jesus for getting what he claimed, I and the Father are one.